Alright guys, thank you for checking in to Stumptopia.com and the Stumptopia.com Facebook page. We're going to have our daily weather update right now. Of course, we've been tracking it for about a week now on Stumptopia.com. And you probably heard it here first. The major Midwest and plain snowstorm. It's been fun to track it with day by day with you guys. These daily videos that we've done just discussing the storm. Now, let's take a look at what the latest models are showing right now. Here's the GFS. It develops blizzard conditions in the plains by later on the day on Wednesday. Heavy snow coming back into North and South Dakota. Minnesota gets in on it by um, Wednesday night. They're talking about heavy rain making its way th on through the Heartland, Ohio Valley. And um, the snow is going to continue to move off in the northeasterly direction through the day on Thursday. And it's likely going to be heavy as we're getting these vans backing in. Again, after you get maybe a little break as the main batch over here comes through, you still got more bands that are going to be coming backing in later in the day on Thursday. Let's go through that loop again just to see what happens here. And again, you see, uh, early Wednesday we've got snow in the Rockies, snow developing in the Northern Plains, blizzard conditions by later Wednesday, by Wednesday evening and Thursday night, oh, excuse me, by Wednesday evening and early Thursday morning, wee hours of Thursday, we got heavy snow making its way on through the Midwest, heavy rain making its way on through the Ohio Valley. By the time we make our way out into Thursday, low pressure center is going to begin to move off into this direction. There's still going to be backing bands in as we're just watching this massive Arctic outbreak, which is enough to bring some light, fluffy snow with some more bands back into eastern North Dakota and northern Minnesota. If it's light and fluffy, then there will be a higher snow ratio. So say it snows uh, half an inch to an inch an hour for six hours that you get that on Thursday then you'd get three to six inches, but if it's a high snow ratio, you might get up to six or seven on the back side. That's not even counting the side that came in Wednesday into Thursday. So we're, of course, talking about a pretty significant snowstorm here. Now, also, I talked about the rain in the Ohio Valley. Definitely the potential that on Thursday we're talking about severe weather in the Ohio Valley, and the Canadian-generated models really pick up on that really really want to develop quite a severe weather event. I'm going to show you that in just a bit. Now, let's take a look at what the Euro is showing. The Euro tends to do a good job uh, with these cold outbreaks that come out of western Canada and Alaska. Of course, that is very that is a major factor in the storm. So, it's showing very well the short wave making its way on through with the trough, and you can see how heavy snow, probably blizzard conditions for the northern plains on the Euro. Here's the G-Gem, Canadian generated model that I was talking about. And you can see here, if I can get the loop started out right, <coughs> and you can see how it is a very, very significant storm, very heavy snow. Again, the snow on the G-Gem is a bit further east across the Midwest. We'll have to see how that verifies. But again, you see, you see a big severe weather outbreak back into the Ohio Valley, back into the heartland. And it should be all wrapping up by Friday, leading into what looks to be a nice weekend. Alright guys, thanks for checking in with Stumptopia.com and the Stumptopia.com Facebook page. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please spread the word about our website and have a great day.